loosen one full turn, tighten to 37 pound feet, tighten an additional 90. To, what? Morning, everyone. Welcome to the shop. Uh, so, this was literally the first time that I had encountered a situation where I needed to tighten something to a particular torque specification and then an angle specification. Just hadn't run into that up until now. So, uh, clearly needed some new tools. So, enter the gear wrench 120 XP digital torque wrench with angle. This is the 3 8 inch model. Uh, I looked at American-made torque wrenches, or tried to. Um, you know, I prefer CDI for my torque wrenches. You know, they're reasonably priced compared to the Snap-on alternative, although uh, it doesn't seem that the CDI ones are made anymore. Uh, they appear to have been discontinued. Uh, if you can find them, let me know. Uh, I checked uh, Mac Tools. Uh, they only sell a quarter inch digital torque wrench, checked uh, Matco, theirs are made in Taiwan and they still charge over $600 for them. And uh, so the only one I could find that was made in the U.S. was Snap-on and those are running, you know, a little over $700. For a home gamer, that's a bit much. So I decided to go with the gear wrench when I bought this. It was $195. Uh, I think they may have gone up like five bucks or something in the meantime. But uh, that was more fitting my budget. So let's see how this thing performs uh, as far as accuracy goes. Okay, to start out, I have this set to 50 pound feet. Turn our adapter on. Okay, so we're off a little bit, four foot pounds or so uh, with the gear wrench. Let's see what the CDI tells us. Forty-seven point nine, so off by two foot pounds. All right, so relatively close on torque rating. Now how about the angle measurement? Okay, so this is torqued to 50 foot-pounds according to the CDI, and then we're going to go an extra 45 degrees. As we can see, we're lined up here, so it should be beeping at us when we get to here. pretty tight on that fastener, but that was pretty close. So obviously this is not an in-depth analysis. This is just a very quick review with more or less first impressions. Um, and what we saw is it's about half as accurate on torque as the CDI and pretty accurate on the angle measurement, really. Uh, the one thing that I don't really care for with this is how quickly it starts buzzing at you. Uh, before you hit your angle or torque value. And this is adjustable. You can adjust the alarm to go off anywhere between 15 or 90 degrees. So that means that no matter what angle you're shooting for, it's always going to go off 15 degrees before you hit that. That's a little aggressive to me. I personally would rather it go off five degrees before I hit my target. Um, can't set it to that. So um, that's, that's my only niggle uh, at this point. Uh, other than that, happy with the purchase. Uh, I think for 200 bucks, uh, I think you're getting your money's worth. Anyway, that's all I've got for you for today. Until next time, farewell.